sing, yes, sing a song. Oh, sing out loud, sing out strong. Sing about good things, not bad. Sing about happy, not sad. Come on and sing, oh, sing a song. Just make it simple to last your whole night long. Don't worry if it ain't good enough. Anyone else to hear? Oh, sing. You sing about happy and not sad. And that's what we want you to be tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Certainly happy. I'm very happy. At least I was until that mic didn't come off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really am happy. I'll tell you why. I can't tell you what a thrill it is for me tonight to be standing up here on this stage because at these prices, I couldn't afford to be sitting out there. It's always nice to come back to the Palladium because I was born just across the river at Kennington, a uh, hundred yards, in fact, from where Charlie Chaplin was born, and I always wanted to emulate Charlie Chaplin. I wanted to be like Charlie Chaplin. And after two years in this business, I was a tramp. <laughs> well, I told you where I'm from. Where you're from is what's really the thing I'm interested in. Do we have anybody here tonight from Scotland at all? Is there? Yes, where are you from in Scotland? Glasgow. Where are okay, It's a bit unlovely at the, with the Clyde at the moment, isn't it? There's so much pollution in the Scottish rivers and lakes. Tell you how bad it is. It's the first time the Loch Ness Monster's been sighted on land. <laughs> is there anybody from Wales here this evening? Yes? Where are you from in Wales? Oh, <laughs> is there an interpreter here? <laughs> You're all right, actually. We've got some Welsh nationalists coming in a bit later. They're coming later because they didn't like the tune we played at the beginning. <laughs> Mind you, those Welsh farmers are very angry, aren't they, about all that Irish beef arriving at Fishguard. They're singing, if it's Irish, chuck it into the harbour. <laughs> I had a piece of Irish steak for lunch today. It must have been Irish. It was that thick. <laughs> oh, jeez. I must say, we are breaking with tradition this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Each act will be judged by a panel comprising of uh, Tony Hatch, Mickey Most, Clifford Davis and Arthur Askey. <laughs> the winner gets a week at Batley. And the losers get beheaded. <laughs> Never mind, I can see such a fantastic audience. I wish the folks at home could see this. We've got baubles, tiaras, bangles. There's a lady over there wearing something that's absolutely priceless. It's a necklace of sugar cubes. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell, I didn't realise, you know, how bad this sugar shortage was until I was having a cup of coffee next door and the waiter said to me, one lump or two, and he was using granulated. <laughs> the doctor said to me the other day, you've got sugar in your water. I said, make me an offer. <laughs> <laughs> but never mind what it's like out there. You should see what it's like back here tonight. It's ridiculous. Oh. Good luck, telegram, champagne, and the dressing room's filled with well-wishers. Kenneth Williams, Danny LaRue, Larry Grayson. <laughs> My bodyguard. Because <laughs> a lot of people couldn't get here tonight, you know. Ronnie Corbett's just phoned up to say he won't be here. His wife's gone out and he can't reach the doorknob. <laughs> Gary Glitter was coming, but he got caught in all that rain and his suit's gone rusty. And Dr. Henry Kissinger was going to be here this evening, but he's on another important mission. He's mediating between Max Bygraves and Morecambe and Wise. <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, Max Bygraves will not be here tonight. He's just sprained both his wrists, and it's left him nearly speechless. <laughs> Dennis Healy couldn't afford a ticket for the show tonight, but he's around the front of the theatre taking the names of everybody who could afford one. <laughs> Oh, never mind cutting our wages. I wish he'd cut his eyebrows, do you? <laughs> do you? And what about that budget? Do you know it's the first budget in history where the Chancellor has only put up one item, everything. <laughs> it's given me an idea, you know, what to give away as Christmas presents this year. Petrol. <laughs> in aftershave bottles. that we're now paying 62 and a half p for a gallon of petrol in italy it's 90p and in israel it's one pound 50 and it's not so easy to get 
They give you a gun, an empty can, and point you towards the border. <laughs> well, you think about it, we're taxed on everything. We've got capital gains tax, value-added tax, income tax, and now he's going to scrap PAYE and bring in PAYB. Pay as you breathe. <laughs> Ted Heath won't be here this evening. He's uh, still at the House of Commons. He's afraid to leave in case somebody jumps into his chair. <laughs> Harold Wilson did turn up at the front, but they wouldn't let him in. You know why? He was only wearing that Mac. <laughs> that Mac? That same old Mac? I wouldn't care. That's ready for Columbo. Isn't it? <laughs> No, last weekend he pinned a poppy on it and the lapel fell off. That's it. <laughs> Somebody said to him the other day, now is it true, Prime Minister, has the Labour Party in the North East been infiltrated by the Mafia? He said, ah, come out here talking about. Of course, it's quiet and now the election's over. There's not so much mudslinging going on. I mean, that was awful. There was Harold having a go at Ted and Ted condemning the Labour Party manifesto. I wouldn't care. All he was able to produce in black and white were two pandas. <laughs> I just found out, by the way, why Jeremy Thorpe always has that hat with him. Well, he wouldn't talk out of anything else. <laughs> Fancy him electioneering on a hovercraft. And he came a cropper, didn't he? One minute he was telling the country that the country was on the rocks, and the next minute he was. <laughs> I was amazed they only got 13 seats, you know, but they did manage to hold on to Cyril Smith South. <laughs> Be honest, have you ever seen a tummy like that Cyril Smith's got? Cool, no wonder he's never got married, eh? Can you imagine girls trying to climb over him in the middle of the night to get out of bed? You need Sherpa Tensing for a guide. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, they say there's safety in numbers. Well, there's also artistry and versatility in the numbers going to make up the world-famous Hungarian State Dance Company. <laughs> <laughs>